Hi guys, my name is Naomi. If you're new here, I make videos on my journey to becoming an entrepreneur and I am becoming a candle business owner. So we're gonna get right into this video. You guys, if you guys watched my last video, which I'm gonna post up here, I went to Ikea and I bought a bunch of things. Um, <laughs> I actually went to Ikea again the next day, but I didn't, I didn't show you guys that. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I have been actually trying to budget a little bit better because it seems like I like to spend money. And I like to spend money on things that I don't really need. So, <laughs> I've been, if you watch my Instagram story, you know that I've been trying to budget because my launch is coming soon and I have a whole list of things that I actually do need in order to launch, like the wax, the fragrance oils, important things. And um, so yeah, I have been trying to budget. I've actually been doing the cash envelope system. If you guys watch YouTube or TikTok or, well, you're watching YouTube. If you guys watch TikTok, it's, um, they have a bunch of videos of girls that are doing like cash stuffing and it's just so interesting and I decided to start doing that and it's actually been helping me a lot. So you'll see me, I'm going to show you guys, actually let me just show you guys. I went to Ikea to go get the rest of the, um, items that I needed to organize my studio. So let, let me show you that. I just finished putting this together and I realized that it doesn't it didn't fit all the way under here because I was supposed to put these on the bottom but I can't put it on the bottom so it just doesn't have anything on the bottom because it didn't fit it like barely let's see like barely look at that barely fits so um then I wanted the shelves to be like this and then I was looking for the other shelf to put on top and I realized there is no more shelves. But whatever, you're not gonna be able to see it. Let me push it in. So you can't really see it. It looks like it's kind of flush with the wood. I gotta fix those wires, but yeah, that's kind of how I wanted it. So I'm gonna put together the table that's gonna go here for the boxes the shipping boxes and that'll be like the shipping station um over here in this corner so i'm going to put together that and then see how it comes out because i'm just trying to maximize the little space that i have so hopefully i can organize this and it'll be productive when i start working so i'll finish the table this is actually a desk but this is the only thing that i could find that would possibly fit in this space so i'm going to show you guys this tomorrow because the lighting is terrible and it's dark it's very late right now so when i set this up and organize all of this i'll show you guys but that's the table that's where the the um hacking what is it called boxes the shipping boxes are gonna go see it's late i'm tired i finished putting together this and i ended up putting this stuff here i'm not sure if i want to keep this stuff here but i'm trying to figure out where everything is gonna go so that i can be organized i ended up putting like the things that i use my tripods and the things that i put my lights on and then the fragrance oils. And these are my new fragrance mugs that I got from Ikea. So this is where the fragrance oil is gonna go, mixing it and then putting it into the wax. And then I bought this for my candle wax. So it's supposed to be just an easier way to pour the candle wax into the jars. Okay, so 
And then I just put like miscellaneous stuff down here and some of those are the candle wicks. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this. this. This section is going to be for my shipping station. So I'm going to have the shipping printer. Um, and then I have the shipping boxes. And I'll probably have like papers and stuff down here. I have the Uline um, boxes. And yeah, so that's going to be the shipping station. Hopefully I can get something that kind of raises it because I'm going to need the shipping label printer to be able to print out onto here um so yeah i'm gonna have to figure that out and then um i'm still figuring out this section not sure what i want to put here but once i start getting everything that i need i'm obviously gonna have to to put it somewhere so this is gonna stay my printing station so kind of leveled with my shipping station and all my papers and stuff and things like that. Um, up here is just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with it, actually. So I just stuffed it up there. I'm going to have whenever I make my candles and they're, they're drying from either me making the actual cement candle or um, me actually making the wax um, I'm gonna have them sit here to dry and they're on tray so that'll be easier for me to move it from here to here and um, and then when they're finished this is gonna be the rack where I have all my finished product right now I have my molds here and I put these paper towels over it because it gets a little dusty in here and I don't want any dust inside of the molds so I put the paper towels on top. So that's my station for now. It will be updated again probably soon when I get um, the stuff that I need to start mass producing. Oh, and I got this new um, scale, which I really like. And it's really accurate. I have to put it like this because there's no room for it to be like this. It just doesn't work out. But I, I kind of like it like this because I can see the the number better since I'm working like this, you know. So it kind of actually works out. I like that. But it's also too big for the big ones. I've only used a small one on here. So I'm going to have to raise this even more. So I don't even know how I'm going to do that, but I have to figure that out. So yeah, we're almost like we're at 80% done, pretty much. All right, so I'm not buying anything else that has to do with the studio. I just need to purchase now what I need in order to launch. So I'm going to be doing that. Um not in this video <laughs> i'm actually videotaping two videos today because i have been behind and i'm so sorry um i have been behind because life has just been doing life and so um i'm actually videotaping two videos so you you'll see this one and then you'll see another one in a three or four days um <laughs> so yeah we are going to be making the candle jars today um I am doing, trying to figure out the, the color of one particular color, which is the, it's like a mauve pink-ish color. So I'm trying to figure that out. So I'll be showing you guys that today. So I recently had an issue with the Modern Craft lids that I had ordered. I thought for some reason that when I was making, um, when I was making the lids, when I would take them out, it would be like slanted. And I don't know, do I have one that I can show you? I don't see, I think I, oh yeah, I do have one. This one, this, hold on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are going to see this. Let's see. Is it showcasing? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully you guys could have saw that, but... I, um, it has like a little slant 
And so um, even when I underfilled it or filled it right where it was supposed to be filled, it still had a slant. And it was weird because, I don't know, it, it was weird. And then when I looked at the actual mold, I realized that the mold wasn't cut properly. So I just reached out to, um, I, I don't remember her name, but <laughs> I reached out to Modern Craft Labs and they were able to send me one literally like, she, like, literally, when she said she was sending me one, it was already shipping. It was already shipped. So, um, I really love that kind of customer service because, you know, I even sent her a picture because I always do that. I, like, send a picture and show what the problem is so that they can see, you know. And, um, she was able to just, like, immediately send me a new one and they're perfect. So, I have no issues there. So, um, past couple I think it was last weekend the weekend I wasn't able to post my um my stepson had a little birthday so um I was recovering from that because <laughs> we went to like a zip line type of place and uh it was like you know those things where you like on the road I think I'm just gonna show you guys a clip okay let me show you guys a clip So yeah, I was trying to be like, cool mom, you know, I could get up there with you guys too. And then I felt that afterwards, especially when I went on the rock climbing, I was starting limping because I messed up my foot. I had already fractured my foot and I don't know why I thought, yeah, I can go rock climbing. No girl, no, you cannot. It was so bad. Um, I started limping like immediately after we left. And I was just limping for the rest of the day and just in pain. And I'm like, girl, you are too old to be acting like this, okay? Those were for the kids. Let them go up there. And, you know, with a younger mom, you know, I'm young, but I feel old. So, um, not doing that again. But I'm glad I was able to do it for them because, you know, they wanted me to go up there with them. But whatever. So, that was my little weekend and we're just gonna get right into this video. This is why you have to wear a mask because the particles from the cement, they get everywhere. And especially, I had the window open because I need to have the window open, but it was blowing it like in all different directions. So I was like, I gotta close the window, but thank God I have the mask. You see the part, you see this? This is why I wear this mask.
I realized it was like a little too runny. I put a little bit too much water. So you know, I make note of these little things for next time so that I, you know, can do it correctly because you can't have too much water. But it does run so much smoother when when there's more water. <laughs> So after I used these clips, I realized that it kind of made the jar more oval shaped when I tightened it. And I'm not sure if um, I'm supposed to be doing that, <laughs> so I'm not going to do that again. So as you can see, I did different shades. Um, I was trying to figure out which one I want. This one's still wet, so I won't know the actual color until it dries. But the rest of them are all dry. So the color that I was leaning more toward was this and this. So I decided, okay, I'm just going to mix them to try to get um, the color that I want, which is this one that I did. So I'm just waiting to see, tomorrow I'll probably look at it and see how it dries, because it's not gonna be this color, it's gonna be different. Yeah, these are the three. These other ones, this one was a little too purple, and this one was like really ugly. But these are the three that I'm basing it off. 
but hopefully this comes out the color that I want. Otherwise, I'm going to have to make another one. I know it's weird that it looks like I'm like wiping it off, but it's it's supposed to be like this according to other people. Um, and I'm lightly like wiping it, if you can tell. Lightly wiping it. It might look a little like I'm rubbing it off, but I'm like lightly wiping it. Because if you dunk it and leave it, it leaves little marks. So you kind of have to like kind of massage it in type of thing that's what I feel like I'm doing um but I'm trying to lightly do it and in the next edit <laughs> it's gonna go fast so it's gonna look like I'm like really roughing it up but I'm not I'm doing it very lightly guys okay
when I first started, I was dunking them twice. So I would wait about an hour and then dunk them again. Um, which is what it says on the container to, um, to seal it twice. But I'm going to be sealing it with a different finish in the inside to make it glossy. Because if um, you don't do that and you pour the wax in and a little bit of the wax gets like on the, um, the inside at the top where the wax isn't, it leaves a mark. So I'm putting a gloss in the inside so that if there is a splash from the wax in the inside, you won't see it because it'll go with the gloss. So you'll see me doing that after this. Oh, you guys thought I was going to pour that out? Oh, no. It's going right back into this little container, okay? And we're going to reuse this. This is not going to waste, okay? It, it did not It did not give off a color or anything like that. So, it is not going to waste. I probably will do this um, as many times as I can. <laughs> Yeah, because in order for me to dunk it, I need a, a good amount. This was such a struggle. It took me a long time, longer than you're going to see right now. I had to go get a knife. I had to, like, pop it open. It was so, like, glued on. Anyways, this is the Earth Face Safe Finish that I'm using. I'm actually going to use it on the lid. Um, it's a gloss finish. I tried, I bought both gloss and satin, and I like the way the gloss looks. Um, so I'm just putting it on the, the inside of the lid um, just to give it that finish since that the inside is, is darker than the outside anyway. So I might as well just finish that off. And then um, I'm going to use it for the inside of the lid, which helps with any splatter from wax. You won't be able to see that because the wax, if, if the wax gets on the outside of the of the jars, it's over. Like, you can't use it. I'll show you guys. Um, I don't think I have a video of it, but I will show you guys probably in the next video of one of the jars that I did that I splattered wax on the outside and I can't get the wax out. Like it's, it completely changes the color of the jar. So you have to be very careful with the wax.
trances Going all to different places, different planets But your aura cracks me by losing balance What if we were out of time and second chances Empty-handed You left the grass this was actually my favorite part out of like everything that i do um with the with the candle jar this is my favorite part i feel like maybe because i'm painting <laughs> and i do love to paint so it just felt like therapeutic i probably would like doing this part when i like have a, a lot of jars to do the making with the cement that's the part that i do not like <laughs> it's just it's just you gotta have a lot of you know um arm strength and stuff for mixing the cement and you know with the wearing the mask it's not the most fun thing this was more fun
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm still trying to figure out which color is the one, to be honest. Um, I think I might make just one more and add just a teensy bit more red or pink or whatever in there. And um, I think I'll be good with the color and then I'll figure out that part. So the next coming week is critical because... I am launching soon. I'm actually going to tell you guys when I'm launching in the next video. Um, I am launching soon. So it is really critical of me to purchase everything that I need to purchase as far as the wax, the fragrance oil, and um, the pigments. I have the cement already. So I'm, I just need to hurry up and purchase it. Mm, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. Somebody's car is going off if you guys don't know i live in manhattan so there's a lot of sounds going on all the time and it's very hard to film with this but i'm hoping that i don't know i feel like this is not gonna go away so yeah i don't think it's gonna go away i'm gonna try to wrap this up because i know this is probably annoying all right so guys I'm trying not to, I'm trying, okay, it went away, <gasps> thank God, anyways, because I was losing my concentration, what am I talking about, okay, next video, guys, I'm going to be, um, really digging down deep and trying to, um, finalize what I need to finalize of purchasing things, and then, um, then we'll get into the whole, like, me actually making my stock another noise um making my stock for the launch ah, i'm so nervous but i'm excited but i'm glad you guys are here with me because i've been getting so much support from you guys and it feels really good so please if you have not subscribed yet subscribe to my channel if you guys have questions or if you have anything to tell me or if you have any like advice comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>